Hello everyone, welcome back to the Plunder Den and the conclusion of the battle between Gene Hamlin and Manuel Rivero. So let's uh, take a look and see what happened. Uh, remember we were playing a 300 point match and uh, we were playing control the field scenario. So uh, let's start over here uh, at the docks. That's, uh, when we last looked at it, there was a lot of action going on. It looks like there's only one unit left. Uh, we got the, uh, the Marines here uh, with Gene Hamlin and himself. So there's a couple casualty markers there. Uh, and uh, that's the Lanceros and the Sea Dogs died there. So this was uh, one of the control points uh, and uh, uh, Gene there in his unit is definitely within four inches. So that, that would give the defenders a strike point. So what else happened is that uh, Manuel himself, this is his unit uh, casualty marker, uh, perished right here. Uh, these interplog that eventually moved over here to that crazy melee, which we'll get over in a minute. Um, uh, died here. Now normally this would be kind of uh, the end of it. This happened in round five. Uh, actually right at the end of round five. Um, so we still played one more round um, because uh, if you remember at the beginning uh, the Spanish did have an officer. So if your commander dies uh, and you don't have any fortune points which the Spanish didn't have left, uh, you can revert command uh, to your officer. Uh, you have to do a test, of course, roll a test, and, and you get a plus one, so it's a little harder to pass, uh, but the Spanish did, so uh, if you look in here, the commander is just right in front of that freebooter, is now taking over control of the Spanish. Now, unfortunately, in the, in the sixth round, he, the, they pulled an event card, uh, Dissension, which <laughs> didn't help, uh, because the officer doesn't have a very, uh, it only has a four inch command range, uh, and only one extra command point, so we can uh, issue one more extra command. So, you know, it's just an officer, it's a small thing, but it got cut into two inches only because uh, they got an unfortunate event card, Dissension. Uh, so yeah, Spanish got some really bad luck there at the end. And uh, But they were able to play out the last round, uh, hoping to, uh, you know, at least eliminate these three booters over here. And then, of course, they're gonna get over to the uh, melee over there. Uh, so let's just go over to that side and see all the action over on the other side. So remember the uh, Forlorn Hope was trying to come up on the beach beachhead here. Uh, and uh, we're running to uh, resistance from these Marineros, I'm sorry, the uh, Belicianos uh, and the uh, Pikemen. So they did uh, land. Uh, it actually, the, the, the original melee was on the beach here. Uh, and then it just kind of... Uh, um, they actually struck a five-point hit. It was crazy on the uh, uh, Musianos, and they had to, uh, as you can see, they still have Ford Fatigue over there, had to retreat. Uh, and the pikemen are down to two, um, but they were still an active fighting force in there. Uh, but just a total, total bedlam going on in here, uh, in, in this, uh, this beachhead here. Uh, so uh, it looks like there is uh, four of the uh, Forlorn Hope still uh, still fighting in here uh, in this uh, crazy fight. But they had the they had the uh, uh on the ropes here, and so and then the Interplog was trying to come over and support near the end here. Uh, ultimately, we, you know, we were trying to get control of this island. Uh, they were just trying to get into this boat, uh, and if they got into the boat, it would have been. It would have been within four inches. Uh, they would have got another strike point against the uh, defenders. But uh, but I, I just want to point out, <laughs> remember that cannon unit that got a broadside at the very beginning? Well, they ran over through the market, over to the other side here, and they were trying to, you know, maybe uh, go into this gun or use a gun over here in the fort because really it was only down to three. They ended up actually getting involved in this melee because it was the last round anyways you might as well send them in and charge right uh, they actually managed to kill of uh, one of the four lot hope uh and uh you know they're not a really amazing fighting force but they did uh they did better than the pikemen did they didn't kill any uh of the four lot hope so uh, you got to give them credit for that so anyways uh that's the conclusion here uh the uh, the pirates win uh gene hamlin wins uh the Spanish got uh, over 50% a casualty rate, so they got a strike point for that. Uh, they don't control any of the parts of the field. 
Uh, the only part that's actually controlled within four inches is the Marines at the center here. Uh, so there's another strike point there. And uh, I'm not sure, and maybe somebody can uh, correct me, because uh, I was looking in the rule book and I couldn't find uh, if they get another strike point uh, if they lose their commander, which I assume they would. Uh, it is listed in uh, one of the listed areas. So if that's the case, then they would have three strike points. Uh, uh, so that, at the end of the day, the Pirates uh, easily won this. Uh, which, you know, I didn't think they were at the beginning because the Spanish had a, a larger force, but uh, a lot of inexperienced uh, of units and uh, were easy to uh, give fatigue to. But anyways, that's the conclusion of this battle. Uh, another, uh, I, you know, I really like these amphibious assaults. They're, they're uh, just the uh, same as the uh, King Golden Cap one. I, I really enjoy these uh, amphibious assaults. I mean, I like sea battles. They're awesome. Land battles are awesome. But I think uh, I like this version of it uh, the best, to, to be honest. So, But anyways, uh, that's the end of this conclusion of this battle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully we'll get another uh, crafting video going, another paint tutorial, and uh, we'll go to another battle report, another, a ship battle next. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone.